check this out. I'm out by Swan Lake today. Welcome back to the Fishing Doctor's Adventures. And I'm fishing for perch in British Columbia. It's right outside of Vernon. And uh, we're up here at Silver Star Resort. I've been looking around, I've been getting a lot of smaller perch in shallow water. So I just drilled halfway across the lake and I'm just gonna try bumping along and we'll see what we catch. But this is the first decent one. This is probably about 10 and a half, 11 inch perch. Nice female, nice chab, chubby little thing. Let's see if we can catch some more because we gotta make fish tacos tonight. Okay, let's get fishing. I'm gonna pull in a whole lot of small ones during this video, but maybe we'll get some bigger ones. I had this uh, flasher on from Kokanee Fishing the other week, so I just left it on with some line, a tungsten jig. We'll get down there and uh, see if we can't catch some more. There's so many fish down there. They're all small though. The bigger ones are usually closer to the bottom. So if you can get through the small guys, they usually catch the, sm the bigger ones. It's a little better one, about a seven incher. Actually, eight incher, so we'll keep that one. We'll keep everything over eight inches. Limit is 20 out here, so you can keep quite a few fish. Most of them are like this, kind of in the four to six inch range. Lots of throwbacks. These perch are so aggressive, they'll chase right up five, six feet off the ground. They, they must eat little minnows or something here, because they're used to chasing. Or racing the other fish for their food, maybe. Oh, that was a big hard hit. That's a decent one. There we go. There's nice. Lots of males today. That's a male, probably about nine and a half, ten inches. So in shallower, I was getting a lot of the smaller fish, but it seems like most of my bigger ones over nine inches have come over about. 11 to 13 feet deep today. Lots of guys like that. So many little guys. I think I gotta move to a different hole. They've got me cornered here. Some more big ones coming through. Okay, let's go try a different hole. <clears throat> Maybe a little bit better one. No, it's not one. Yeah, he swallowed it though. So as you can see, there's lots of perch here. Not a whole lot of much size, but that's why I came here, so I wanted to look. So I moved around a few places. I haven't really found any concentration of large ones. They're just kind of spread out. So I might come back tomorrow and do some more looking. I'm trying a little spoon, North End Tackle, the Buckshot Rattle Flutter Spoon. Works really good for perch. It's kind of like a heavier slender spoon. I'm just gonna see if I can't Bring in some larger perch of this thing. Oh, look at that. There's these out here, little sunfish like that. Guess there's a school of these down there. Look how they take that big hook. Pretty fish. Well, that's it for the day. Caught a whole lot of perch, small perch. You don't need to see all that, but tons of fish out here at Swan. 
I fished like one foot of water out to 20 feet of water. I fish every single hole. Lots of perch, some decent ones worth the dinner. So time to head out, pack up, and maybe I'll pop a few more before I go. My catch, they're all about eight and a half to probably the biggest one's uh, 11 inches. So some nine inches, nine and a half, 11, eight and a half. There's a better one. A little better one. There's a little better one. That's a bit better. The spoon right close to the bottom. Not huge, but at least I'm getting under the smaller ones with that spoon. He I dropped him in and he jumped out of the hole. Oh, there we go. That was a good one. A little better. Need some fish for fish tacos, so I'm keeping the smaller ones because I got five mouths to feed, so I need more than 10 per small perks there. There we go, another one. Oh yeah, some more decent ones coming in. These are like actually nine inches I'm getting. Just gotta put that bigger spoon on sometimes. If they're fishing for aggressive perch, and too many little guys put on a bigger spoon because the bigger perch they'll still hit it actually fairly aggressively especially if they're minnow biters they will hit those spoons really aggressively like you're seeing right now especially as the sun starts going down fish right close to the bottom three to six inches off the bottom just wiggle it there and bam they'll crush it 